Hello, welcome to Force Galaxy. So today we will going to create our first LWC component. So in this you will in this video you will going to see how uh, what, what we have in the LWC component bundle, what are their views, how we will going to deploy our component, okay, and how to give the permission so it will get as visible to our Salesforce or okay. So everything we will going to see in the screen recording. So let's move to our screen and start with today's video. Okay, so here we are on our VS code and here as you can see force galaxy tutorial This is the folder I have created and in this folder. I will going to add my all the projects Okay, now first is uh, we need to authorize our org. So we'll select the function authorize an org and now the project default will be selected from here and Now I need to provide the allies and after this it will redirect me to the login page of my org so here it is after adding the credential it will be successfully authorized okay so here as you can see and now we'll move back to the vs code here the status is it is successfully authorized so now here now next is we need to create the lwc project so we'll select function create lwc now we need to add the file name here so let's add first component okay now we need to select the path where we need to save this so in the lwc itself so here once we created our file uh, once we created with the file name it will open the bundle where we can find the html js and the meta.xml for this first component okay so here in the html part we will going to set the ui how it should look like in the js part we will going to add our logic and in the meta xml we will going to add the different permissions and like the api version is exports and the targets where the component should be visible so now next let's move to the js part so here as you can see two lines are by default added one is the import and another is the export okay so in the export line so here as you can see extend keyword is also used so which means uh, it is using the inheritance logic and in the first line in the import one we will going to add our decorators which we will going to use in this js function like uh, here I will going to use the track then I need to add track here if I go, want to use API also then I will need to add API also here so for now uh, I just need the track to be used here so adding the track here so let me first explain you the so before moving to the logic part let me first explain you what we will going to build so let's suppose this is my component uh, and in this I need this one input box and another is the output box so here this field will be there where i can able to write and here the same value will be displayed which is written in the input box okay so this is what we will going to build so the first thing we need a frame now the next we need a input box here where we will going to write and last is to display the text which is written in the input box so here first we will going to create a variable which will be of track type okay so in this variable by default we will uh, add some value which will be uh, shown as soon as the component will be loaded okay so as we know earlier only track used to be reactive but now uh, currently both track and the api both are reactive so you can use either of them either the track or the api so both will going to show the change value on the display box okay so now this is uh, variable is added here now next move to the html part and we will add the ui there okay so here first we will add the lightning card and in this lightning card we will add our input box and the display box there so using this lightning card we will be able to style our uh, components which we will going to add there and can add the title border paragraph etc footer header everything can be added using this lightning card okay so here lightning card is added and now 
in the div i have added one class and then next is to add the lightning input so in this lightning input first we need to provide the label now let's give the label as name okay so next here we need to pass the value okay so in the value we will pass the same variable the track variable which we have uh, added in the js function so the variable name is value to show so this value will be added variable will be added in this value so here we do not need to add the exclamation mark so it is uh, it will be binded directly using the curly basis okay now next is we need to add the event so our uh, functionality is as soon as we change the value in this input box the same will be displayed in the next line okay so this can be done only when we add the event here so on change is the html event and in this i have passed the js function and this js uh, in this js function we will add the logic okay so uh, either you are using or uh, working with the standard or the custom event you need to add the own here like in this own change is added on which indicates that this is the event okay so in the next line let's uh, let's add the paragraph so here we will going to display the value the change value so here also we will pass the para uh, variable value to show so copy this function and the same function will be added here in the js and in this function we will going to add the logic so by default we have added the value hello first component in this variable but now we want as soon as we change the value in the input box it should change the value in the display section also so for this what we will do as we have added the event there in the input box so we will going to get the value from this input box using the uh, function event dot target dot value so using this it will directly uh, give us the value from lightning input so on line number 7 if you have noticed in the in front of variable i have added this also this keyword so the whenever we used to uh, declare any variable or add any variable in this js function the values are always set or accessed using this this keyword okay so next come to the meta.xml file so here we will add the targets targets mean we will add the different uh, pages where we can access our uh, lwc component like the three different pages we have record page app page and the one more is the home page so we will add all the targets here and then we uh, this lightning component is accessible accessible to all these three pages so here i have added app page record page and the home page okay now next is to deploy this to the org and then we will add this component to the page so on the right click you will get an option deploy this to org so let's click on this and here you will get to know the status let's wait for few minutes so here it is deployed successfully okay now let's move to our uh, salesforce org so here this is my home page and now let's uh, edit this page and try to add the component so here the name of the component is the first so it is not visible here yet so make sure your my domain is also enabled so then only you can able to add the lightning component here so currently my domain for my org is enabled so what i am missing is is export need to be true here so if we, if it is false your component will not be visible okay so 
now again let's try to deploy this again and now i believe so it will be visible there so yeah here it is let's add to this page and save So here is the component which we have deployed first name and this is the input box where lightning input and this is the display of the variable. So here by default it will show the same uh, text which we have added in the JS. Now cannot read the property reading target. Okay, okay. So here as I am using this target dot value. So I need to add the event in the JS function. Okay let's move back to the js so here let's add the event so it can uh, now able to access the value from the input box let's try to deploy this again Let's hard refresh this once. So now again, uh, so here as you can see the value same will be displayed in the display section and the value whichever we will going to write in the name input box, it will going to show in the display section. Okay. So this is our first component which is completed. Hope you guys enjoy the video and do let me know if you have any queries or any questions. So uh, as I have also received many comments regarding to share the mail ID. So I don't know whether my description details are visible to you guys or not. As I have already shared all the links to directly connect with me like the LinkedIn, Insta and the mail ID to there in the description section. So it might be possible, uh, might get link to revert you on the comment. So you can directly access the details from the description section. Okay, so we'll be back with our uh, next scenario in the coming video. So till then, take care. Goodbye.